back with today's food this morning. A little twist on jerk chicken and plantains. That's enough for your hectic weeks, weeknights. Ashley Lonsdale here is the sh chef in resident at Butcher Box. Came up with this recipe just to help all you home cooks out there. Feel a little more confident in the kitchen. Plus, it'll taste like vacation. Chef, great to have you here. We're all really jazzed about this because the smell Thank of your you meal so has been much. going on all day. But talk to me a little bit about the inspiration. This is like a meal that might have been on your table at your family dinner. Yes, I come from a big Jamaican family, and so my cooking is inspired by the ingredients of Jamaica and my dad. And so um, we've got a really zesty sauce with a braised chicken thigh Ooh, and cabbage. Uncle Al, she said it. Chicken thigh, that's our magic right word. Back and zippy, thigh. zippy green sauce. <laughs> so this isn't jerk chicken. Let's just get started here. It's not jerk but chicken, But it, no. it, it pulls from the inspiration of yes. jerk chicken in the yes. allspice. Exactly. And in the scallion and ginger. Exactly. So to get started, we're going to season our chicken thighs generally generously with salt and pepper on both sides. Mm -hmm. And then I have a skillet over here on medium high heat mm -hmm. and just a little bit of olive oil there. And I'm gonna get my chicken thighs in the skillet skin side down. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start skin side down because that's our first opportunity to really build a deep layer of flavor. And the way that we're gonna do that is by taking the skin to deep, deep, deep golden brown. And you said medium high. I mean, I think a lot of people's reactions to get that high, high heat, but that preps right. it for low and slow, which is important, right? Exactly, Why? exactly. Well, we don't want to burn the skin when we get it in here. Like we want oh. to, oh, okay. yeah, great. Yep. Um, we don't want to, we don't want to burn it. We just want a really great even color on the skin. Right. And that's going to take about eight to 10 minutes. So that's when you flip it? And then we flip it and then we're going to do about five more minutes. And that's it. So one flip, yes. less than 15 minutes and you know it's exactly. pretty much done. Exactly. All right, what do you got next with this? And cabbage? so now we're moving on. We're going to do some chopped cabbage and yep. that's going to sit under the chicken and it's going to braise in the oven okay. with the chicken. The is oh, yeah. thank you. I love the zippy. Thank you. It's special because... So this is the sauce? No, this is actually the, the vegetable that's going to go the under side. the chicken. Yeah, the Top side. And so it's going to catch all of the chicken fat. And so yep. over here, when we're done searing our chicken, yep. we're gonna throw in our chopped cabbage, okay. some red onion. We have more chopped cabbage here. Yep, that was easy. Red exactly. onion, chopped cabbage. Red onion, chopped cabbage. And what we're gonna do is scrape up any of the brown bits oh, yeah. on the bottom of the pan, because that's mm -hmm. another opportunity to introduce a layer of flavor. Yep. Um, and then we're going to deglaze with a cup of chicken stock and we're gonna let that reduce slightly to concentrate the flavors and build that flavor in the cabbage. And so it should look something like this. And meanwhile your chicken's done, just kind of chilling on the side and you add it in? Exactly. So okay. we're gonna nestle it back in. All right, so and then we're gonna we're gonna put that into a three hundred and fifty degree oven okay. for twenty five to thirty minutes. Oh no kidding, with the chicken and everything. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so that's just gonna braise and everything's gonna be meltingly tender in the All end. All right. And now and so now we move on to the green sauce, which I think is the star of the show. Yes. I mean, we love. Oh, good. It's thank so you. How is it, guys? Got a little I'm going to start eating about a minute left. Anyway. <laughs> oh, Go ahead, Chef. So I like making sauces in a mortar and pestle because it produces a really creamy end product. Yep. And it really helps the flavor to meld. So in this mortar, I have scallions, ginger, garlic. I'm going to add chopped cilantro. Yep. I'm going to add minced habanero. Oh, wow, the flavor in that's really good. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to add all sauce. Oh, my God. Yeah. The bottom of the sauce. That's Thank you. Lot. Yes. That'd be good yes. with shrimp. Yeah. Yes. It's Steak. excellent with shrimp. Yeah. Yes. Anything. So and what so, if you don't have one of these, uh, the, the muddler deals here? So you don't have a mortar and pestle. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you can, you can absolutely make can it in a food processor, food processor. processor. Yeah. and you could cut it by hand and just oh, man, have like a looser sauce. Yes. Thank wow. you. Yeah. Thank That's you. That's so good. All right. And, and then, then the, here's our side dish. Okay. And our side dish is sweet plantains with pickled red onions. Yep. Um, in my family, we always have sweet plantains on the table. So we're just going to fry these for one to two minutes on That's each easy. side. All right until they get golden brown and caramelized on the outside. Yep, oh, it's delicious. And then our- And then sweet, that's a quick pickle, right? This is a quick pickle. This is this is the quickest pickle. All right, well, so, we're gonna have to read about it, Chef. Thank you so much. This is one of the most tasty meals we've had in a long time yeah, here, top to bottom. You. Chef Ashley, thank you. RecipeTay.com slash food.